In this video, we'll take you step by step on how to get the highly anticipated Layer Zero airdrop. Layer Zero is one of the biggest infrastructure projects that focuses on interoperability. And last year, they have raised 135 million backed by A16Z, FTX before FTX collapsed, Coinbase, Sequoia, even PayPal. So we're looking at traditional finance coming into crypto because of Layer Zero. And just this year as well, they raised another 120 million, tripling their valuation to 3 billion. This is massive. And recently we're seeing a lot of volume on Stargate Finance, which is one of the first protocols launched on Layer Zero. Since April, we've seen a billion dollars in monthly volume for the first time. And they're all hoping to get that Layer Zero token airdrop. And this is massive. This is insane. There are speculations that the ZRO token will be launching this year. So in this video, we'll show you a couple of things you can do to position for a potential Layer Zero ZRO token airdrop. Here we go. So Layer Zero hasn't confirmed that there will be a token or an airdrop, but we know for a fact that in their GitHub repo, there is a ZRO token code in their information code. And that is related to payment address. And that's what everyone is really hyped about Layer Zero launching a token because this has to be the native token that Layer Zero has. And as with every infrastructure layer, it is very likely that Layer Zero will have its own token, which is ZRO, to facilitate gas fees. So unlike ZK Sync or StarkNet, Layer Zero is basically an omni-chain messaging protocol. So much of the stuff that we can do to get the airdrop involves using a ton of bridges, basically. You just have to bridge from Ethereum to other networks, but this is mainnet, so you will need real ETH on your MetaMask to do so. But before we start bridging, you will need to have some STG, some Stargate Finance tokens uh, in your MetaMask. So you can get them in uh, centralized exchanges like Bybit or Binance or on DEXs like Uniswap and PancakeSwap. So you go to stargate.finance, you connect your MetaMask wallet, and once you have your STG in your wallet, you can stake them uh, on the platform. And for every STG tokens you stake, you will have voting power corresponding to the Stargate DAO. So if you have voting power, you'll be able to vote on the snapshots. And the snapshots are essentially proposals made by the Stargate DAO themselves. And it's very important that you vote on these proposals because I think Stargate Finance for sure will look who is engaging with the voting process because, you know, it's all about the DAO for Stargate Finance. And I think Layer Zero will also look into it as long as there's, you know, engage, community engagement, voting is very important, staking is very important, it's very likely that stakers and voters will be qualified for a Layer Zero airdrop. Now, the next thing you can do is use the Stargate Finance Bridge. Now, on the same website, you go to the Transfer tab, and you can select to bridge from Ethereum to any of the other chains here. So, I would pick uh, just for the sake of getting that on-chain evidence going, I would and to save on gas fees as much as possible, I would pick Ethereum and Arbitrum because both of these networks have ETH as their gas fees. That way, if I'm going to bridge it back over, it's the same cost, roughly the same cost, gas management wise. So you select the amount that you want to transfer to the network enter the amount, you sign the transaction, and you're good to go. You will have already completed one of the airdrop criteria, which is bridging to other networks. Now, the next two bridges you can use are the Aptos bridge and the Liquid Swap bridge. So these bridges are powered by Layer Zero, and they've been in collaboration with Aptos, and both of these bridges are designed to bridge between Aptos and other Layer 1s and Layer 2s. But before you use any one of these bridges, you will need an Aptos wallet because Aptos is not EVM compatible. You can use the Martian wallet uh, or 
where you can also use the Pontem wallet. And the Pontem wallet is the most recommended. You'll have to connect both your MetaMask and your Pontem wallet. You bridge from MetaMask to Aptos, uh, vice versa, same thing for Aptos bridge as well. And you will have already ticked off another airdrop criteria. Now the next thing you can do, or rather will be able to do, is use the Circle Layer Zero USDC bridge. So I've written about this a long time ago where the demo was deployed on the testnet, as you can see here. Uh, everything is on a testnet, but now it's deprecated, which means you can't use it until they launched it on the main nets. Uh, and Circle has been doing that with multi-chain as well. They've been focusing on this cross-chain transfer protocol where you can just send USDC directly to other blockchains instead of using third-party bridges. So they're doing it right now with multi-chain where you can swap between Ethereum and Avalanche. Uh, and we'll have to wait until the mainnet is ready for this bridge. And then because it's powered by layer zero and if you use, if you transfer uh, USDC using this bridge from Ethereum to Avalanche or maybe other layer ones that they incorporate, then it's also likely that that will be part of the criteria for getting that layer zero airdrop. The last thing you can do is use the SushiSwap cross-chain swap function. So you'll have to turn this on. Uh, and essentially it integrates layer zero's tech where it enables this function where you can swap tokens from one blockchain into another blockchain directly without using a bridge. So you can just swap your ETH Say we're on the Ethereum mainnet, for example, you can swap your ETH and it will directly appear in your Arbitrum One wallet in your MetaMask. So it'll it will send from the Ethereum mainnet and it will appear on your Arbitrum One wallet. <clears throat> These are also some of the available networks that you can swap between. Uh, and depending on the networks, these are also the available tokens. As you can see on the Ethereum mainnet, there's already a lot. There's so many. And also on Binance, they also have their own available tokens. There's so many also. But yeah, I also think using the SushiSwap will also be a part of the criteria that will allow you to get the layer zero airdrop because it uses layer zero's tech. And I think they'll be looking into that as well. Apart from using the bridges, you can also interact with other dApps on the layer zero ecosystem, such as Mujin Finance, Iridian Capital, OmniX, Angle Protocol. Uh, and these are DEXs that are deployed on several other blockchains as well, uh, on Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, and that's made possible because these projects use Layer Zero's tech to enable cross-chain liquidity transfers uh, as well as data transfers. Uh, this picture is actually pretty outdated. Uh, ever since then, there are many more projects deployed on the Layer Zero ecosystem. But as always, you have to be careful when you're engaging with those dApps. Uh, even just connecting your wallet to their protocol. Because as we've seen from the ZK Sync era, Merlin Dex uh, got rug pulled, they got hacked. Even though they got audited by Certic, one of the leading smart contract security firms uh, in the Web3 space. But that is the risks of DeFi. Even if you have full custody of your own funds, if you lose it, you can never get it back. And that's why you always have to be careful. For me, I often would create a separate wallet and have as minimum funds on there as possible. This is not financial advice. This is just something that works for me. And just always remember to do your own research before you engage with any of the dApps, not just on layer zero, but on the other big layer twos, layer ones, or any other big projects that are doing their airdrops, even though they've been audited, even though they've been backed by major investors. You have to understand the risks of DeFi before getting into it. And that is it for the Layer Zero airdrop guide. I hope you guys find it very helpful. If you do, please smash that like button. Leave a comment if you have any questions. 
and subscribe to the channel. It would help us greatly so that we can continue creating awesome content for you guys. So my name is Airdrop Ron. Shining out.